Is that now? Alright. This works. Boot up. Uh on load sweet OBS. Thank you. Alright. Hello. There, you should now see something on the screen. And hello to everybody. And now, not black. Yay! Not black anymore. Awesome. Good stuff. Alright, so, hey Drowkin, how are you doing, buddy? So, as you can see, Wolfenstein 3D. Again. But this time, it's a little different. Not playing the core game, and we're not playing the sequ uh, prequel, expansion, whatever. We are playing my first ever, well, maybe not the first ever, my entire time, but my first sort of more direct Wolf of 3D, 3D mod. Now, I've played live anyway. Yeah, let's go with that. So, um, wasn't Coffee Break the name of that Doom mod you hated? Oh, no, no. Coffee Break was the one with that one level that I hated. I like the rest of Coffee Break. Now, this, this is not to be confused with the uh, Doom mod of the same name by Mtrop. Now, this is somebody completely different who also just decided to call his mod um, Coffee Break because reasons. Ah, and here is the modder himself. That might have probably the weak my Doom world thing, but now nah, we'll do it up now. And hello to Wooey underscore Wool. How are you doing? So, uh, this is the modder that has been modding on Wolfenstein 3D for 17 years, according to his original post that got me to play this in the first place. And the whole reason why I've been playing Wolfenstein 3D recently alongside Spirit Destiny. So, yeah. Coffee break. You called it Coffee Break because the levels are short. Oh, well, that's also probably why Mtrop called his new mod Coffee Break as well. Yay. <laughs> are you sure you're not the same person? <laughs> I don't think you are the same person. Okay, so, um, also, this is going to be uh, the first time I'm going to be trying something a little different. In um, terms of my live streaming, uploading that is, um, I did say that I was going to. No, I'm not. Mtrop is a totally different guy. Okay, well that's good to hear. Well, we will. Um, so <clears throat> basically, I said that I wasn't going to upload my streams from Twitch anymore to the channel YouTube channel. But apparently, if you export a video of your stream to YouTube after it's finished, it doesn't take very long. A bleated is unedited. So after this stream is done, I'm going to try that out and see how long it takes to upload to YouTube. And if it works out really well, then I will be able to upload unedited live streams to YouTube. Although if it takes just as long as, say, anything else that I've had to do in the past, then I won't bother. But hey, I'll give it a try. Okay, so, I suppose it's time to stop talking about technical stuff and actually talk about the WAD. Of which I know nothing about it other than it's short and has custom stuff in it and is a WAD. That, that, that's all I know. <laughs> Seriously. That's why you're here, Wooey Woo. You were very insistent that I, you had to be here when this was streamed. Hello, don't call me only 13. Going okay. I have been a little busy lately. I have rejoined my former live stream community channel. I've been streaming there a couple of times, but in general my streaming has been not too much lately. I've been busy. Although in fairness if I anyway. So let's look at this ward. So it has only two episodes at the moment. 
Uh, I think you said this was a work in progress, of which it sounds like there's going to be uh, six episodes total at the end of it, of which two are available now. Castle Hasselhoff. Uh, I get it. And the Village Volk. Sounds very punny, I would say. And we also have what appears to be some custom pictures being used for some of these um, episode titles. Yes, PR Balloon, but this time it's a mod called Coffee Break, as made by Wooly Wool, who is in the chat right now. He's going to talk through this a bit and talk about stuff and answer the chat's questions. And my own. So, because apparently Wolfenstein 3D mods don't get a lot of coverage compared to Doom stuff. Although I'd imagine that's the case of a lot of old school first person shooter mods. I think Doom's kind of a big exception in terms of the modding community. So, I am here to provide a bit of a public service for Wooly Will and the remaining Wolf 3D modders on their old uh, Pentiums by providing some commentary on a mod for Wolf 3D. Probably people still make mods for it. Yeah. This mod was kind of inspired by Plutonia and Skill Source Doom maps. Short, punchy, trappy levels. Oh, okay, so you were influenced by Doom content for your Wolfenstein 3D thing. You weren't inspired by Wolfenstein 3D mappers of repute, whatever they are. Alright, so let's go on with episode one. Hello, Yugi Boy85, how you doing? And oh, we even have. Decaf, House Bland, French Rose, Espresso. Also liking the other coffee break. Let's play this thing. And let's save this thing. There we go. So you'll remember that I'm playing with the mouse and do ESD controls. Let's see how much I can remember of Wolf 3D since I last played it a few weeks ago. And hello, serious Kekodemon. How you doing? So this is Carl and the Schnitzel Factory. You also want to tell me where the secret levels are located, so I don't miss those either. If you have any, we well, are my friends with you, you boy. What do you expect? All right, so we have some vines. I see we have outdoor areas that look outdoory. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's going to be anything interesting in development from this. Uh, are we going to see anything new to advance the engine or anything like that? Map five. Okay. Sounds good to me. Hello, Jaws in Space. Where have I been? Well, I've been a bit busy lately. Uh, thanks, Chip. God, I'm going to have to play this. It's been a while. Dead. There were more secrets after that first one. Oh, was there now? I may come back for that, that depends on either health or not. Ah, another secret. I've been busy, Jaws. I mean, to be fairness, I have rejoined my former livestream community, Dolt Witch, and you can keep up with my Twitter or my YouTube post or whatever. Um. Oh, nice. These locks now have actual colours on them, so I guess that definitely means the gold key. Very nice. I'm doing pretty good, Reaper. I've had a... Right, dog. Woof, woof. And now you're dead. Oh god, I hear... Get out of here. Silly person. Open sesame wall. So, in truth, the reason I haven't streamed on here for a little bit is because I've been waiting for a chance to play this first before I went back to my Doom stuff. And Wooly Will's only been free on the weekend. Weekends due to his busy schedule, but I've also been busy last weekend with my busy schedule. So, yeah. Remember, to kill by a dog is to do smile dot dog bidding. Wow, serious. Look about making a creepy pass of reference. <laughs> yeah, so I have, by the way, come off my Doom Wad break. Whoa! You're a custom enemy, by the looks of it. 
And now you're dead. So I even got to see what you did. Ooh. We have what looks like a grand. So this is already a sign of the mods involved, so... No, I've been doing my MVQ. Last weekend I did my MVQ every day. Luckily this weekend my MVQ is a little lighter, so it shouldn't take as long to do. The rifle guys don't lose damage with distance. Oh, right, so they're like snipers, basically. Which is good. Oh, this should be... Ooh. Is that what... Wow, that's a nice little uh, animation there, I have to say. Sweet. It also means we have some very annoying enemies to hide from. Oh god, you're not kidding. Oh, well, I guess that works both ways. I can snipe them as much as they can snipe me, I suppose. Oh, you picked up the Talos Principle, huh? Oh god. Get out of here. So I won't be able to use my familiar tactic of running away from enemies with the uh, snipers. I'll have to actually take them out before they get in range. Interesting. Yes, you can snipe with the rifle. They should be telling me there's a zoom in option that <laughs> can scope stuff. Uh. Oh, you put the Palace Principle. Yeah, it's an awesome game, Don Corleone. Well, I, I trust you're enjoying it so far. It's a pretty good game. I definitely. I'm a bit disappointed there's no announcement of a sequel, E3. Uh, no word about the sequel at E3. Wow, he was blind. Yeah, fool. Oh, God. Quite a oh, we only dropped two bullets at a time. I think then this rifle will probably have to be used very spurringly then. So that uh, we don't... Oh, there's even a different ammo type for it. Some flimsy looking bullets. And these provide a good five uh, pieces to drop. Interesting. So the stingy bastards who carry these things only drop two, but on the ground you get five shots. Done. Oh. Get out of here, chips. Wow. Ow. It's not very nice, is it? God. Oh shit, where's the rifle dude? Well, now he's dead. Those rifle guys take quite a few shots with the uh pistol, so I figure killing them is a good idea, as soon as possible. Yeah, someone, they tweeted about it a, few, a bit ago. So it was, oh wow, look at this, we got to open thing. Yeah, I've been over here yet. Ah, take that. Oh god, there's quite a few of them. The rare well for also does 99 damage. One shot will always kill a guard, officer, or rifle. Oh. Awesome. So we already have this new mechanic of a different weapon type to use. I'm guessing this might be a replacement for the SMG, Red Woolly Wool. Yeah. By the way, Don Cole, you know, just while we're talking about the Talos Principle. Um. Ah, Jesus. Fucking sneaky asshole enemy. Ugh. Get some health. Uh. Shit, where was the health? Oh, it was over here. Jesus. trying to go through the... Ah! I've slightly lost my sense of burn here. Check inside that secret again. Oh, 
Oh, it's the second secret. Hello. Ooh, new treasure type. Gold helmet. Huh. Very nice. Alright, was this door then? Wait, no, it wasn't. Where the hell was I not been before this point? Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I get myself all lost and confused over nothing. Can't say I'm like. Ah! Take that. Oh, so the SFG is in this game then. Being fired then, and I thought it can't be possible. Surely. Nice, we have to We get to go past this area. Now look, it's my poster on a wall. Wanted for crimes against stuff. Now where was the silver key stuff here? Oh yeah, it was down to the south, wasn't it? It's over here. Oh, we'll peek at that. Dead for a hundred. Oh, good. There's a long wind up time, at least. That helps quite a bit. It doesn't immediately fire. We're using save, so that's kind of pointless for me. Get out of here. Still, it's there. Yeah, um, sorry, I was, I was getting on to a point about the uh, DLC for um, the Taos Principle Don Corleone, which is uh, the road to Gehenna. Um, unless you need ammo. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a point. It does give ammo, doesn't it? Well, I'll check it at the end. After I've... Uh, dealt with all these rifle guys. Shit. Like, considering they're snipers, they don't seem to be... Oh wow, look at this. Some nice little windows here, I have to say. So yeah, the uh, DLC, the road kit, is very, very hard. I wouldn't recommend buying it unless you're really up for some challenging puzzles. Like, the most challenging puzzles. Oh god. Oh yeah, you're right, swap four now. Oh, you got the DLC as well? Oh, well. Now I can go get that health, because I've been shot. Ooh, the ammo's up to 100 with this. It's gone past the 99 in the base game. Now at 100. Very nice. Oh, shit, I seem to have slightly just wanted to hit myself as to where that secret was. Turning your game would be a good idea to start the next level. Oh, you didn't give any ammo. I noticed anyway. Yeah, I always say, I try to say, I always say at the start of each episode, uh, level in this, what we will, as I've been doing in my playthroughs of both this and, of Spirit Destiny and Wolf 3D. 
So I will be doing that. Definitely. Yeah, I actually didn't I actually didn't bother with the DLC, because I just found it too hard. I think I'd been burnt out on puzzles by that point. But I can definitely vouch that Tower's Principle is one of the better games I've played. Although I got burnt out at the end, so. <laughs> Well, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, then you will like the Road to Gehenna. I'm sure there's a lot of good story content in it. Just saying it's... It doesn't... It's a little bit different, like... Well... It just really is the hardest challenges possible stuck together. I imagine... Oh, I imagine your reward for doing that will be some more cool stuff. Alright, anyway. This was a decent first level. Nice introduction to the Rifleman. Some nice new uh, texture setups. And... Uh, yeah, we have a new weapon to play with for this episode. That's sweet. Good stuff. Oh god, right at the start, we're immediately having to face this guy. Oh dear. This is called a Wombering Planetoid. Okay. Right next to me, huh? Okay. What the fuck? Okay, sure. Alright, so rifle isn't as effective against the SS guys. Jesus Christ. It's not a very nice start at all. Ah, so the rifle really is effective against the weaker enemies, but, uh... God damn, that was not very fun. Out of here. You know, depending on which kind of hard it is. Yeah, it, when playing the levels in the, uh... Dehenna, it felt like about the same difficulty as some of the secret stuff. Oh wow, I didn't even know he was there. I just kind of shot and hoped he was just around. Ah, the secret worlds. Yeah, you'll be able to unlock a nice little companion if you get that far. Thanks, Sneaky Bob. Jesus. But one certain we think that it's going to be different in this mod is that because of these riflemen, there's going to be a lot more sniping opportunities for the enemy. So you got like outdoor sections almost, where they can just post. At least they don't shoot straight away. Shit! Boy, you sure are... You sure are, uh... Putting us with riflemen. No time wasting getting those enemies as common as possible. Huh. What a weird beat those helmets make. Very strange. Hey, real Dehu. 100,000 ditch more. Ooh. There's a jail cell door there. Proper one. I don't like these textures so far. Damn. I need to be careful here. So, M7G for most of the guys are close, but right for otherwise, if you can. Because rifles don't penetrate those SS guys quick enough. Maybe another one here somewhere. Or did we get him? Well, if there's one here, I don't see him. Oh, look, there's another one. Huh. 
So, inspired by Skill Saw and Plutonia. So you're going for something that was short and difficult, yet somehow fair to the player. It's interesting how you chose to have your inspiration was Plutonia, which was designed to be short and somewhat unforgiving. And then Skill Saw stuff, which is designed to be like mostly gameplay wise. Oh, 50 is the max for the Garand, huh? Hey, Ever Enway, how you doing? We have the modder in chat. I do, I gotta say, I really do love using this sniper weapon. That must have been a hard thing to balance out your ambition for. I mean, how's the general feeling of... I don't know. I kind of want to ask a lot of questions about stuff I really don't know about, since I'm not as well versed in... Weapon and enemy balance in Wolfenstein 3D. But I imagine the biggest problem for a lot of the... Um, modders and mappers is that all the enemies are mostly hit scams. So levels have to be... Nice picture there. So most of the enemies have to be... Uh, most of the encounters have to be built around the fact that you're dealing with hit scan enemies most of the time instead of, say... Don't you duck for me. Get back here. Where's he going? Oh, you're trying to be sneaky, were you? Sneaky rifle man. Not on my watch, Bozo. Not on my watch. I mean, I guess the, I guess you could have enemies that aren't hit scan, but then you'd have to make a non hit scan system. Rooms have to have cover. It still feels weird just seeing an outside that looks just like this. It's so very early 90s. But I guess it might be hard to do proper outsides without just, just warding up the Doom Builder instead for front of a crack. EC Wolf has decorated, but no projectile enemies appear until episode 2. Oh, so we are getting projectile enemies in this mod. Nice. Good stuff. Where the hell are we? Well, I'm not looking at that. That makes my snipe strategy redundant. This <laughs> is so satisfying. This is Mow down. Ah, you guys don't have rifles. I can just snipe you from the corner. Yeah, I mean, I imagine like it must be really hard to make challenging maps that are fair because it's like, I mean, Plutonia introduced the shit. I mean, I guess in that regard, Plutonia is probably a good thing to balance off because you know, Plutonia involves a lot of chain gunner encounters and. Damn bullet sponge type stuff. So I guess it's not the worst thing to inspire from when playing and modding for a game that's a lot of hit scans. I suppose. Um what's I gonna say? I was trying to warn you. Oh, I didn't quite mean to pick that up. Whoops. So I guess one way to change up the gameplay will be to have different weapons for the player. In this regard, I guess this is where the rifle comes in and the rifle man to go with it. 
So like suddenly it's not just a case of, oh, keep your distance from everything. It's like, well, actually, these enemies will snipe you if you give them enough time. But you can also snipe them from a long distance. Which you could do anyway, but now with accuracy. Hmm. Uh, let's check this way here. Thank God for auto map. That's the best thing about uh, modding for do uh, Wolf 3D nowadays is that there's a rigging map program so that players don't get lost. See the game before using the silver door. That trap often kills me. Okay, I will do that. Sure. I haven't been down this corridor for yet. I wouldn't want to bump into another dude. Ah! No, you don't. Nice try, chick. Not gonna happen today, boy. -oh. Where was the silver key thing? Oh, it was just to my... Just over here, wasn't it? Alright, let's save the game as per the modder's advice. Oh, you play on skill 4. Oh, I, be, I play on skill 3. I was going to play on skill 4 for the playthrough, but... Um... Oh, it takes two shots to kill those guys. Not too bad. But a minigun would have been really helpful. <laughs> oh, look! The earth! No, wait, I was looking at the gold door. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that must be tough. I mean, that's why you need the minigun, really, to mow them all down. Gotta say, I'm liking the texture variety of this so far. That have definitely a lot of color out there, a lot of detailing and stuff. Even an outside door. That's cool as shit. I actually wonder if, like, the corpse party sort of visuals would be great for this kind of game. For anyone who's watched my corpse party uh, playthrough recently. That kind of mechanic would be great in Wolf 3D, I reckon. Hey, hey. Ah, no you don't. You're both camping, weren't you, boys? Now you're dead. Try harder, you... Hey. Get out of here. You certainly look very nice. Oh, look, we even have little banners of Nazism. Definitely. And we don't have any, uh, that outside view feels what, like, 1994 Doom Wars would do. Huh. Yeah, you've not just gone for the, um, standard Wolfenstein 3D textures, you've made some of your own, which is quite sweet to see. One thing I actually do like is that the doors are color coded. No more confusion over doors. The gold door has a gold key on it, keyhole, and the silver door has a silver keyhole. But I'm guessing this isn't exclusive to this mod. I'm guessing that was fixed ages ago because it's a glaringly obvious problem. I don't have a good feeling about this. This looks like Sniper City. This looks like Sniper City to me. You definitely got some nasty, horrible riflemen somewhere here. Yeah. Whoa! Where the hell is that coming from? The hell? Where the fuck are these riflemen at? Ow! Where the hell 
is the rifleman. Oh my god, I can see him. I think? Do I camouflage by the bush or something? Gotcha. Dude, that's not very nice. Fucking saying I'm barely visible snipers. get the health stuff if I can find the silver key. Come here, health! I need you now! I'm dying for the next level. Shit. Need to have deviated off my course a bit. Go hunting for chickens. What? <laughs> Texture variety is nice and they also fit very well, so it's definitely an upgrade with the standard wall 3D selection. Oh man, why do I. I'm actually trying to keep looking at the back, like, I, I, I don't seem to be able to just instantly know. Hey. Arr. Ooh, I'm spoke for choice on which door to take. Well, I better go get the health before I finish this level or whatever. Yeah, we got some different kind of gameplay where there's like windows to consider and stuff. I can't. I, I really do hate uh, talking the map, but the way out of this level is just so confusing naturally. You can hit us along the way and kill him instantly. I have a feeling that sniper corridor thing will be reused later. <laughs> you can't use the mid text. Well, I will try to do that if possible. Okay. Nice. Second level. Oh, wow. We also have completely different theme changes. This is my broomstick. So I'm guessing these levels don't have a consistent uh, texture theme. It's just levels of... Oh, you were right. Kill them in one shot if they're unawake. Whoop this rifle. No, they intentionally avoid having a consistent theme and having meme tastic level names. That we do have with the introduction of this new enemy type and this rifle is the introduction of um, weapon type switching gameplay, like in Doom. You know, you're not just using one ammo type for the whole game, you're now using two. And that means different weapons for different areas, and yeah. Just by adding this one weapon into the game, we now have different weapons for different situations. I think. Oh. 
Dang it. Oh, she has a sniper. I need to not get sniped by those, if possible. I check out those. Look at that. They're doing their best to try and blend in these guys, aren't they? Walking on the outside like that. Whoa, there's eight weapons in total? So we only have half the weapons for now. There's more to come. Ooh, I'm excited. More new toys to play with. Oh boy. is doing his own episode, which will be episode 6. Wait. Zazer's involved with this. As in, Zazer Agaron, the Doom guy? Wow. Holy shit. Does Zazer do a lot of more 3D stuff? open when you got that key? Or was that just a bit of coincidental timing there? When the way they came out, I don't think that was meant to be coincidental. Where are they? Where go? It's also as hard as balls, too. Now hang on, there's a fourth. Whoa! Alright. Any more clowns in suits? Wanna hide in rooms they shouldn't be hiding in? Nope. Okay, then. good. No hiding. No, that was a trigger. Expect that to happen to you a lot. Oh my god, we have Doom triggers. I'm triggered. Hey, Pinchy. So, we have custom enemies, custom weapons, and doom triggers. Oh, God. We have advanced gameplay stuff. A lot of doors with no key are opened by triggers. Hmm. Oh. Oh, right, okay. That was pointless. Oh, was it? No, it was pointless. <laughs> sort of. But it's back to where we started. Because we have to go the other way for the climax of the gold key shenanigans. Oh. That forbidden sign was a secret. At the start. Oh no, not officers. Urgh. Whoa. But yeah, we got windows in metallic. Did I get him?
Bloody hell. This is a cool little door thing. Now, don't you try and flank me. Whoa, what the hell? Thank you. Chuck. God. Need some health now. Wah. I need health. Yeah, badly. I wonder if one of these might be a secret of some sort. Wasn't, unfortunately. There's the rifle again. He just want to pistol start the level. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, got a bit of health back. I'm not out of it yet. Skippy Jim. Where can you find the custom textures in the big ingredients for crates? So does Wolfenstein 3D have like a Realm 667 equivalent where you can just draw upon a ton of custom enemies or do people have to create them themselves? Oh. Probably easier than Doom mapping, oh. at least at a basic level. I would imagine. What's probably more harder is to make something that's fun to play. That's Magic Monkey's image world, but it hasn't been updated in years. Excuse me. I like how this is pretty interestingly laid out. Like, you've got the sniping again, but... It doesn't feel quite as nasty as it could be. Like, all these sniper spots are somewhat obvious, which definitely helps. Or at least something you can sort of notice. In a level. So if we have triggers for doors, does that mean we're going to have monster closets? Or is that not quite going to be a thing in this? Like, we're going to have walls so we explode out of nowhere. Oh, I guess I shouldn't rule that out. Considering we saw it. Ah! Jerk. All I know is that when I see... <laughs> all I know is I'm associating pretty quickly if I start seeing that texture of bars, I'm thinking there's snipers somewhere <laughs> in the level. I don't actually see anything, though. No. Yet. Other than that, you'll have to rely on the Die Hard as Wolfers forms. There's aiding resource forms. That wasn't available when Copy Plate was in development. My newest project Wolf's Emission does walls move and even collapse into other walls. Hmm. Is that a switch? Switched, it's not a lift. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So it is. Alright, I'm gonna save here because I have a whole thing about this trap. Ah, knew it. Whoa. You have a bad shot. I could s ha! I could smell the ambush. Wasn't that we? <laughs> I've only this is the, my first one, and I'm already figuring out ambushes. Perhaps that's the idea, though. Ah, all these supplies and ammo. This is the skill saw influence, isn't it? This is kind of something skill saw would do. He'd have rooms like that. 
we'll definitely have rooms like that. Oh nice, so once again the level kind of goes back on itself. So a bit of like player guiding almost. <laughs> Somewhat, anyway. So it's been a lot. So basically, there's been a lot of development in Wolfenstein 3D's gameplay, adding triggers, switches, enemy types, weapon types, walls that collapse, monster closets, and stuff. So it's not remained. So it's not been too stagnant on that front. We've not just had things that have looked pretty and been like way above. Because when I thought of Wolfenstein 3D mods in the past, I thought of two things. I played one I can't remember that was based around World War One, that looked really nice and stuff, but uh... Oh, I've been here already. I think. Yeah. And... It was, it was, it was based on the Wolf 3D engine, but it was very difficult. On some. Oh, that was it. Yeah, they had that really weird fight at the end. And yeah, it wasn't too great. Yeah, it wasn't too great. At all. They had a really weird boss fight at the very end on a roof or something. Which took several attempts to beat. The officer shooting gallery. Oh god, look at this. Every time I see these windows now, I'm going to think, is there a sniper there? Don't be paranoid about these windows. It's like playing Zenyatta. The will maker behind that frigging hill? Or is there not? In this case, there wasn't. Windows for work groups 3.11. Yeah. And, um,. The other stuff I've vaguely taken a peek at with Wolf 3D is just um, re-textured stuff, like... I've had a very brief look at it. There was a YouTube channel that covered a lot of it years ago. There was something like a, a Wolf 3D mod that played like Doom or something. And then a lot of these mission packs and something. It just kind of felt like... It was really hard to make something that looked fun to play on Wolf 3D compared to, say, Doom, for instance. Global, by the way. I might regret saving like this, but... Wow. Okay. I'm gonna save here just because... Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to suddenly forget there's two officers in my face. This is... Carpet Babies. Loving these level names. Very good. End of Destiny is an extremely sophisticated DOS mod. Very difficult. Worlds 5 and 7, I recommend saving before the level starts, at the end of the previous level. Alright, I will do that then. Hi! Hi! Look at this freaking corridor! It's like Sniper City here. But, you can get away with it. Because you can snipe. This is way more fun than it should be. Damn it, this grand should have been in the core game. It's just amazing seeing how the difference one weapon makes to the gameplay of this. So you have to think about what weapon to have at different times. Ow, 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 ow. Asshole. Not cool. Ooh, my secret senses are tingling. There's no jerk guy around this corner either. Here, <laughs> entire secret is used to consume everything and get back on track. Yeah, I can't imagine it's too hard to make Wolfenstein 3D devious. I've saw enough evidence of that in the later episodes of uh, episode six of the this the core game. 
Just do something where hit scans can't immediately be killed off or can sneak attack players. But now you got all this trigger stuff. I'm guessing that a lot of players, as soon as they got triggers into the game, I'm guessing it wasn't. So I'm guessing game from Doom. Use them in every single Wolf 3D mod. So let's play like a regular thing or something. Another switch. Hmm, that sound effect sounds familiar. But I don't know what from. Alright, so triggers aren't a common thing then. They're used by a select few people. Does that mean triggers are hard to use in Wolf 3D or do just a lot of mappers, uh, mappers choose not to use them for this game? Damn, he also woke up just after I shot him. Balls! For the original engine triggers have to be written into the engine. For the original engine triggers have to be written into the engine. So not an easy process then, basically. Hey, old misfit, by the way, how you doing? Get out of here. Boy! I will just be hiding in a old room like that. I was supposed to anticipate where the fuck is coming from. I had to guess. At least that time I was not to guess. And this was all pointless anyway. Stupid Nazi. You're here until Kako starts his stream. Yeah, Kako wasn't here a moment ago, but I guess he's setting up his own stream now. How dare he do his own stream? It's not loud. Man! It's actually more fun than Doom for the sniping element. Dude, I want this weapon in Doom. Granted, you can use a chain gun for this kind of thing, but it's not as it's not as awesomely reliable as this is. Give me the Garand in Doom, damn it! <laughs> I want to snipe those revenants with a Garand. Dragon Quest Heroes. Oh, I won't be playing that. Ow, oh, for fuck's sake! Why am I not learning that enemies like to do that kind of thing? I should be. Shit, was that one? Was that a rifle? Right yep, I wasn't wrong. Ugh, I'm not learning my Wolfenstein 3D lessons now. Damn it. Oh, wait, there wasn't any health around here, was there? Ah, fuck. Not good. Oh, this is the room I'm thinking of. Hey, Mike, how's it going, buddy? Oh, oh. Alright, there's gonna be one here somewhere on the other side. Are you there? Nope, okay, you know. There's one there, nope, maybe. One here, nope, guess not. Expecting someone there. Hey, Nurse Rom, how's it going? I'm yeah, doing pretty good. I've had a tough day. I'm having a tough week at work, honestly, overall. It's been a. Uh, been vicious. But, uh. Oh, no. Oh, I've got to be a secret for sure. Not to be, as it turns out. But yeah, I finally managed to 
get a stream going at the same time that the modder himself was in around. So I'll probably be doing this in two parts, honestly. I'll probably do episode, I'll try and do episode one this evening and then do episode two another time. I don't want to rush these kind of things since I am enjoying this so far. But yeah, if you have any questions for the modder, Wooly Woo is in the chat right now to answer all your queries on Wolfenstein 3D modding. And speaking of which, I do have another question for that. Um, does the Wolfenstein 3D modding community have a CAC Awards equivalent of any kind to award the very best Wolfenstein 3D mods? Because if so, and if I happen to get into this kind of thing, I may play more Wolfenstein 3D mods. Well, from occasionally. I'm going to start saving a bit more on this. I feel it's a print idea. I'm not going to go full save scum, but I think I've been getting the hint um, that saving every so often is not a bad idea if you don't want to be frustrated by 50% HP stealing fucking officers. The Wolf 3D Dome had the Dome Awards every month, but it's only retired. Oh, man. God, look at this. Ah, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. Especially with the door locked. Oh, God, what have you done? What the hell? Why did he fire straight away? That cheap fucker. He's got a rifle, and why are you firing straight off the bat? That's not on. Fuck. Get out of my face. I think my mistake here is not going back far enough. Jesus. Lots of great mods there too. Well, I have to say, it's fun to finally see this kind of ambush in Wolf 3D. I don't think I would play Wolfenstein 3D mods with the same fervor as Doom. I still think Doom is the superior game overall. But I certainly can see myself playing the occasional one to break up the monotony and also to see what kind of cool stuff the engine can do. Because I think there's a, there's a certain kind of charm to Wolfenstein 3D's more simplistic gameplay. It's just not the kind of charm that, say, lends itself well to being played day after day. It's kind of like something you play once in a while type thing. That's the way out. That's the impression I'm getting from anyway. Oh, that's not a flinching. That's just a weird... Oh. Oh, hang on, they're not shooting straight away, so it must have been a second rifleman that shot me then. There must be at least one of them. Only they got him after all. Again, I recommend the ARRP Spear mod at some point. Do you have a link to the Dome Awards, Woolly Wool? I could put it onto my consideration list. I mean, my streaming's going to become a lot more casual, but I might mix things up a bit more so I don't get too bored with something. Like, say I'm playing a couple of Doom mods, I might suddenly say, you know what, I'm going to play a Quake mod for a change for break up the big list I have. Ooh, what's this? What do we have here? Another weapon! And it uses a different ammo type. So it's not the same as the uh, mini... I thought it was the minigun equivalent, but it seems to be... What a... I don't know what this is. I'm gonna take a look at 
think real quick. Got to get menu. Oh, look at that. Ah, and straight away there's the. Oh. Where's my bookmark bar? Close that, close that, minimize that down. Alright, there we go. Oh, I fucking hate this bug. Oh, sorry, guys. This happens every time I alt tab out of this. <laughs> Brutal Wolfenstein field. Oh, God. It happens every time I alt tab out of the game. The mouse cursor goes bananas on the side. It was still worth it getting that link, though. Sorry about that. Every time you alt tab out of Easy Wolf, if you then play back in, the mouse cursor goes all over the place on windowed mode. So I usually just don't bother. Oh, you can hit scroll up to recapture the mouse. Oh, holy shit. I didn't even think of that. You'd recommend the WSG mod yourself. Well, perhaps I will play a couple of them in the future. We'll see how this goes first. So we have a new toy to play with now. What does it do? Let's find out. Oh! It is kind of like a minigun. Well, it's not a minigun, it's like an M -mish MG, I guess. Total Cop SLD is 3SG's best mod. Also, hello, Kaloon. Reloaded. Nice. And immediately a great group to test it on. Lovely. Yeah, it doesn't use the same ammo as the uh, guards, though. It uses these exclusive little big ammo dumps. Which is interesting. So. Oh no, but there's SMG guys in the windows now. Oh, just when he thought riflemen were the only things that worked outside windows. Nope, it's SMG guy time. And they're coming for you. Walking around outside. Dude, you guys are too inconspicuous. You guys are too lumpy and large to be considered sneaky. Leave that to the riflemen. Or just don't, because... No. Ooh, and here I have the choice of four doors. Ooh! How's your coffee, John? Windows! Yes, windows. Lots and lots of windows. I'm gonna check the ammo here. Nice skybox. SSL fully windows compatible. Oh god. Boy, that is a terrible card. Revoke your. Time to revoke your mapping license. Oh, you had an old account, renamed it, and you don't. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee very much. As are users. Oh god. Don't talk about users, please. Save before the next level because you'll be under attack. Alright. Time to take that recommendation from the mapper and save. Okay! Another nice level. Now, we're under attack. Apparently. Wow! This is Half Time Herbie's Party. Familiar sounding music to boot. Oh. Where the hell did that come from? Shit. I'm being sniped from somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, there he is. Will you get out of here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not a very nice start at all. You wouldn't recommend staying in the start area. No kidding. <laughs> I think you may be, uh, right. Look how moon. Is 
this as good for Wolfen as the coffee break was for? Oh god, is there like a snipe? Ah! You, you get over here. Shoot. No. Come here. Down you go. Yeah. Eat my bullets. No, Mike. No, just no. Oh yeah, this is heretic music. You're right. Come on, I dare to walk back in front of that window again. Come on. Double dog dare you. <laughs> So you could play this awkward game of sniping between window bars and not quite being able to get through ammo. Ah! The way how this room is awkward to get around. Surprisingly. Ah! No! No! Bad enemy. Bad. Well, it's been alright so far, Karuno. If it's anything like the Coffee Break or Doom, then this wad will basically be fine except for the last level, which will be a pain in the ass. Then I'll hit the whole thing. Hi! Hi! The secret exit is in the cave outside the building. I'll tell you how when you will get there, but you'll need to go to the cave. Alright! Thank you! For fuck's sake! God damn, I get tired of that shit. Fucking putting enemies there like that. How am I supposed to fucking guess? Nice. These do was a lot of fun, it's just single player, John. Another one who was trying to be sneaky. God. Where? Oh shit, where's the rifleman gone? I'm not liking this. I can see three layers of windows. Three windows, but it could be and now it could be anywhere. Uh, I could. Oh no, this is gonna be a trigger event, isn't it? Again. Oh god, no. Not looking forward to this. Where are they? I can't spot any of them. I'm gonna save here because it's an obvious trap. Alright. Go! Got it. Eat this. Oh no, you don't. Hey Steve, how's it going? Is that all of them? I feel we want some damn elf. If possible. Not a secret, surprisingly. Still don't like the looks of this. Not one bit. Second one. Yeah, 
Damn, I thought it'd be a secret for sure. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ugh! Why is it... Nice to know that you haven't got out of the habit of using that fucking... shit. Ugh. Find me wall is a secret. We're right about one thing. I certainly am using that strafing a lot. You've never played Wolfenstein 3D. Gotcha. The whole 3D sight weapon spider makes it fill the screen. Ooh. Nice. Some ammo for the minigun. Well, I'm gonna try and save that for SS crowds or the boss. Or the boss may even tail. No, hello. Dang, they think those riflemen have the same winching type thing of the uh, um SS guys. Riflemen have 75 health, SS have 100. You haven't even played a demo. You should probably give it a try, Steve. If only to appreciate where Doom started out from, you know. Oh god, that's gonna open up more than just a one door, isn't it? This is gonna be another trigger event, isn't it? Two hundred, which I think is the ammo cap, I'm guessing. Don't know why I fired there. Just felt like it. Oh, hey, we're finally outside. Maze War. No, I never did. I, it's the first I've heard of it. Oh, we're finally in the outside area. Now you have to get the gold key. Save your game before hitting the switch in the brick corridor. Oh god. Yeah, I can kind of see where this ambush is going to take place. There's a the gold. Nice build up that we are outside. Oh god, there's the key. There's a suggestion there might be a lot of enemies involved since suddenly the uh, there's like a thousand doors and well yeah yep two hundred to max for that gun. Oh god, the entire outside area is for these doors of trap opportunity. Like, every single inch is covered. This almost feels like it belongs in a boss level or something. As opposed to just being like, say, the outside of area E1M5. Oh 
Ah, but wait, there's one in here, pop. Okay, this might not be too bad then. Ow! Jesus. That was painful. Very painful. Yeah, all hits kind of so far, but apparently there are some uh, projectile enemies coming up later on. Oh, God. Why did one of them go inside there? It's just a weird path to take. Be very careful here. Huh? What the hell? Oh god. There is a boss here? Oh shit, there is. Some kind of gross boss, but it's using rockets instead of what you'd expect it to use. And there's still those clowns around, which need to be dealt with first. Gredo has an upgrade. Oh shit, she's got an assistant still. She's using rockets. I think. Does she have any minigunners left? Nope. She's using a different weapon type. Oh shit. Explosive shells. Got it. Sorry, Gretel, but <laughs> she fires floods of them. No kidding, she's like a spam. She's like the brutal cyber demon when it gets pissed off. <laughs> There's the secrets near the green and... They don't know she has BJ's face. Hello, David Daring. Ooh. What the heck was that sound? Whoa. A rocket launcher. Holy shit. We got a rocket launcher. Nice. In slot eight. Must be extremely powerful, especially against living things. Oh, this is a lot of weapons to keep track of. Oh, that's not to would forget. I probably end up forgetting I have so many weapons. It's like, oh, I could have used a rocket launcher for that fight? Shit. his rocket launcher on something worthwhile. I 
don't see a thing in this blind maze. Ah, this must be the secret exit. And we got it. Perfect. How's your day been, Dave, been doing? Ugh. Wow. That was the first really tricky level of this mod. Or wad. Or whatever we call it. <laughs> mod wad thing that happens. <laughs> Very nice idea. Start on the inside and be flanked outside and then head outside and have a massive boss fight mid-level. Mid episode. Follow the maze. And we got ourselves a secret. What the fuck? Und. Oi! Oi! Wolf. <laughs> oh god. The doge. So hun se meme vio bonus new. <laughs> oh god. Please tell me there's a dog style boss. <laughs> oh, look at his paw prints! <laughs> the Nazi swastikas! Conversion during the minutes, so they don't hear the dog barks. Oh, it was meant to be dog barks, is the Okay. <laughs> Oi! Ah, they even put him in sneaky spots like all the other enemies. <laughs> oh my god, this is just bonkers. A brilliant level idea. Make one about the dogs. Those underutilized enemies. <laughs> yes, that was dog food. Wolf. Before there were pinkies, you just shot dogs to death. Wolf. God. No! Doggy! What does that say? D mapist en quatish. The mapist is quackers or something. <laughs> Whatever that says. <laughs> Kira will have mixed feelings, I'm sure. Oh! Wait! Get out of here, you silly dogs. Wolf! Wolf! <laughs> this map is nonsense! <laughs> nonsense. Okay, the Nazi dogs! Yes, you do see dogs. This is the this is the secret level of episode one. Dogs really are just exactly like pinkies, I guess. Ow, 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 ow! Jesus, when did dogs have much health? I suppose, when do dogs do this? When have dogs been this prevalent in an entire level? Ruff. How are these shots missing? How? It's just. Boop 
boosted their damage. Don't have any more health. Oh, hey, an idle dog animation. That's something we haven't seen ever. <laughs> Still can't believe there's a dog level. It's so cool. Ah, get out of here. Get no scoped, Mutt. I want to see 50 dogs at. Dogs move fast enough in case we dodge hit scans. Wait, the player can. Oh, I see. So it's that same thing where, like, if you move fast enough, you gain your. Wow. Does that mean that then that dogs are actually, like. Huh. That's a strange quirk I didn't know dogs had. Although, I guess you don't really get to see that in Wolf because dogs weren't used that much. Oh no, oh no, so there's going to be four of the dogs now. Look at them. I suppose you didn't replace the sprites of the dogs with dodge faces or something. that's <laughs> composed with the level. Ah. found it. You see multiple decoration and one is unlike the others. It's probably a secret. Aha! Have we found it? Nice. Oh, seems like the one of only gives ammo for the uh, SMG slash pistol. This level's gone to the dogs, I say. <laughs> you want to see 50 dogs attack at once? God. The slaughter map of dogs. Could be a thing, you never know. Well, we survived the first dog apocalypse. Alright, um, yeah, let's go out a little bit with all the doggoos. Okay, but the silver key. Hey, have some rifle ammo, in case the SMG's not sufficient enough for you. Uh-oh. Oh no! No! And here we got trapped by the canine hordes. Oh, that's a thing. The new Iron... Actually, the new Iron Man comes out tomorrow, doesn't it? Uh, Iron Man... Week. Since, for those who don't already know, although you might do if you read my Twitter or post about it, or read the thread or whatever, whatever. Uh, Mott managed to survive a little one given me on Disturbia, so, uh, yeah. There will be a, uh... No, no, I was talking about the Iron Man challenge. Hmm, there's an interesting little back area then. Oh no, more triggers means more dogs. Yeah, that came out pretty well. I like that candle chandelier as well. Oh. Hey, get out of it. So it's co- uh, Whoa! I was way too good at dodging the bullets there. That- Oh shit.
So yeah, it's tied up three for three in the Brit Bowl for the Iron Man League. So in the month of July, Mutt will go first in terms of the competition. So we'll have to see what Alfonso picks for tomorrow. It's also a new Iron uh, Mega Ward Club, but I've not taken part in that for ages. Don't have the time anymore. Much dog, much wolf. Alright, here comes the big trap. Oh no! Why do I see ammo for the this weapon suddenly? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, it's a giant dog! No! Look at it! It's a giant dog! Oh shit, it's really aggressive. <laughs> what on earth? Wow! Oh shit, that thing nearly got me. Whoa. Oh, it's not over yet, then there's more of them. Doggy Menace has yet to subside. <laughs> and now Steve D's getting his wish. Fif that, that must have been about 50 dogs, I'm sure. <laughs> On skill 4, this is a huge dog sword, like 40 of them. <laughs> but kept not using Kinsey's dog belt. John Sweet Pea in the case of Hound of the Basket Rules. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so both Steve D and whoever said about the giant robotic dog were right. A uh, boss dog <laughs> were right. Bonkers. Now that's how you end a bonus level. Yeah. Oh my god, is that the minigun? Oh yeah, we even get the minigun at the end too. So cool. What SWAT's that in there? Oh, is it using the same SWAT? Oh, it's using the same ammo as the uh, MG, I guess. Oh, okay. So I could go full minigun or I can use the MG for a slightly less fire rate. Okay, so one more weapon type, I guess. It's a barrel. You're not a dog. Get out of here. And you're dead. <laughs> the dog elevator was originally made to make you restart the level, but it didn't work. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Such level. Many secrets. Much complete. Wow. Oh, where is to the bitter end, will we? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Take the wrong elevator and you get to fight more dogs. <laughs> wow, that has, to, that has to be the best Wolfenstein 3D secret level I've played. That was such a fun level to play. This is a collection of rooms and doors. Isn't there a secret level to play for dick moves? Uh, guess it can be, Willy, but not always.
Yeah, these devils are definitely quite short, but no, I can't, I don't seem to be able to just plow through these levels, kind of, but I'm not, they're not too long. Because there's no worries of fatigue. Woof woof, motherfucker. <laughs> woof woof. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good one so far. I wonder if it won a dome award. So when did this? So when did this actually? When was this actually? Uh, is this is this still a viable work in progress, Wooly, or did you finish it ages ago? I, I forget if this had come out a while back or not or something. Damn, I love using this Quran. Oh shit. Oh, where is that? Gives me a huge advantage against enemies at distance. Like, all of them. <laughs> Except you. You're kind of an obsession. But only because you take two shots. Episode 1 came out in 2014. Episode 2 in May 2016. Episode 3 is way too old. Oh, okay. So you're kind of like... Taking your time with this one. This is, is going to be your magnum opus of short level design. Hey, Mr. Zool. So it may be that I may have to come back to this wad in the future and check out other episodes. When it's completed or something. And we have a white blue wall. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Zool? Welcome to, uh... <laughs> Coffee Break. The Wolf 3D version. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yep, this is the mod I've been meaning to play. I would have, as I said, I've, I've had, I've, I was under instruction to play this when uh, Wooly was around, so I had to wait for us both to be free. And I've been quite busy this week. Things. Pants. So, the mapper is in the chat, by the way, if anyone's just joining. Wooly is the uh, creator of this, and he's around to take questions if you have any for him about this. Uh, what? And he also uses this as an, as an opportunity to learn about Wolfenstein 3D modding. Um. So. I think it's because I can remember the questions that I had stacked up. <coughs> Um, so, really, um, uh, we, you said you've been doing this for 17 years, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so you said that this community for this game is, is very small and there's not a lot of people doing videos for this type of stuff. Um, I'm guessing that's mostly because of Doom's existence and stuff. Or is, is there like any other reasons? Like, is there a decade community but people are just getting bored? Or is it just simply because Doom is, like, the better game? Like, I'm just speculating that obviously since Doom is sort of more easy to get into and is also technically quite good, that I'm guessing more people just get into that and skip all 3D after a while. I think it's because modders have made their own custom EXEs instead of creating source ports. Hey, what was? So what? So there's no boom compatible standard. Oh, right. So it's a lot harder to play some of the mods. It's not like um, you can just snap things into EC Wolf, say? You're saying? I think. So it's kind of like someone will make a, a, a mod and then it'll be like, you gotta play it with this thing. And then someone else will make another mod and it's like, nah, you gotta play it with this thing instead. Dear Leon. 
What does that mean? Zedin is just really funny. Yeah, I have PFZs are custom EXTs. And most mods require DOS. <laughs> It is STF. I kind of thought that everyone would be using this as the equivalent. I'm not going in there anytime soon. It's okay, anyway. They can come to me. Oh shit, this looks tricky. Ah, I need some health. I think if I'm going to go into that little trap, I need some damn health or something. Is there any health at the start of this? Level of anything? Yeah. I'll grab what I can. We're approaching the word of the bat room. SDL still gets used to make custom EXEs. So it's not like in Doom where everyone can just play on GZ Doom and it's fine. It's like everything's got to have its own EXE file or something DOS. The Wolf 3D community pretty much refused to use EC Wolf. Really? It's just outright refused to use it. So that everyone... Why would they do that? Like, I wonder. I mean, I know that when GZ Doom came out for Doom, there were people railing against that, but a lot of people use it. So... Oh, shut up, Mr. Zool. That's the problem we have with the Doom community. Fucking... My infinite height! Something that should have gone a long time ago. It puts me off mapping, you see. It's just infinite height bullshit. It's perfectly acceptable for a lost soul 20,000 units above your head to block your path. Just because you got used to it doesn't mean you get to play it. Everyone else should have to. I'm going to save here because this looks like a whole room. Oh wow, the name actually drags off the, the border for the box. <laughs> Look at that. A question of rubes. Ah, it's trying to slice off. An intrusion from the Doom community. I'm surprised that wouldn't be something that would be leveled a bit earlier. I really don't like the looks of this. It's absolutely horribly snipey. Oh god. I'm just weeping the room. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck this room. Fuck that room. Must never talk about that room again. That room was horrible. I knew that room was no I, I knew that room was no good. smile with the door usage there. I mean, the thing about it, Mr. Zoo, is that if people don't want to use GZ Doom, it's fine. You know, it's not a problem. People want to use PR Boom, no worries. A lot of stuff is Boom compatible. There is the standard, I guess. It must suck if you're like in a Wolf 3D community. It's like, man, I really want to get into this kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, you got to download ports for everything and it's really awkward, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't want you here. Go away. Ready to earn Suede free. So it's not quite as easy to map either. Oh, for EC Wolf, that is. Oh, oh my god, a million doors just opened. No demos. Kinda sucks. That's why we have something called live stream. The next evolution. Why record a demo when you can live stream it instead? Guards can't open what doors in coffee break. A 
Oh wow, that's kind of cool. I see a rocket launcher. Oh, is this the same corridor? Whoa! Oh Jesus, what the hell is that thing? Oh God. Whoa! Holy shit. No kidding. Oh, I got him. Wherever it was. Commandos. Jeez, I thought it was a boss monster enemy. He had the same attack pattern as Hans in the original. Oh my god, we're going to be fighting enemies that can run that fast? That is really... They can be stun walked. Really? More of them. Yes. Hello, Funzerker. How's it going? This is not going to end well. I have no health left. God damn, these custom enemies are brutal, that one is. Well, I guess that's off to Graf Zao. Bubbles. Two point eight point one is the final release. Man, so it can be stunwalk then, and it changes constantly. So it sounds like to me, well, there's a bit of hostility for the Doom community being in the Wolf Three D community to some extent. I'm gonna. It's kind of interesting, wait. Right? In some senses, the enemy of the Doom community. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that is a weird sound for a rocket pickup, by the way. That starts some kind of funky beat. Meow, 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 meow. I have no way of getting in there at the moment. <laughs> Custom mod menus and dodging the question. Well, the gold door is next. I bet this is going to be a commando bomb rush, isn't it? You'd as with sound some Blake Stone. I see. Yeah. So it can so 
it's kind of interesting, really, how the development worked of the id game. So you have the Wolfenstein 3D community, which is like the first modding community thing, or whatever. Like the first one to be out. Oh, oh. oh shit, did I hear a commando then? I have no idea. Don't fight me right now. I hear something that sounds very different anyway. Nope. Nothing here. Guys are just so getting used. So I was on a bit of a tangent, wasn't I? So like the Wolfenstein 3D community comes out and has its own thing. Then Doom comes out and has its own thing, which replaces the Wolfenstein 3D community. But some people stay around for the uh, Wolf 3D stuff because it's kind of neat. Then Quake comes out, and then the Doom community sort of builds up its thing quite early as it does. Then the Quake community comes out and the Doom community goes to that, but then comes back to Doom. So they kind of like, I don't know, skip a... They like, they, they try out Quake and it's not quite the same, although some people sort of get into it. I am so glad he missed. Ask questions of our fortunes. Yeah, it definitely is. You, you, then you get into form 3D territory at that point. It's like, whoa, we gotta be really good now. The most. Oh, that's the end of the level. Oh, you said I should save before the start of level 7 as well, so I'll be ready for that. Doom is like a sweet spot in the balance between what you put in and what you get out. I also kind of felt that with Quake and Quake 2, it was a lot less about the single player content and a lot more about deathmatch. Like, I believe after Quake came out, the big thing was 3D deathmatches. And that was a thing that took off instead of the single player stuff. I mean, I guess Doom did have deathmatch stuff back then, but I remember Quake was like the big things, like 3D death matches, rocket jumping, let's make stuff for that, and then Quake 2 carried it on, and that's where all the cool mods came from. Quake 2 money was doomed to fail because the mod codes you see and had to be recompiled for every version of Port of Quake. This was horrible. Yeah, I mean, it, it reminds me of when, um, what was this? Get out of my way. Um, it reminds me of when I was I was playing Requiem, and it was like this was the final farewell from the Doom community before they moved to Quake. Like everyone really thought Quake would take over the Doom stuff, but then it didn't. <laughs> so then everyone goes back to Doom, and then Wolfenstein 3D just kind of gets ignored because there's Doom and Quake now. It's like two games to play. <laughs> oh God. Wow, you weren't kidding. That was like... Jesus Christ. How the hell do you... How the hell do you pistol start that level? I guess you should move out of time. Oh, that's just lame. Ugh, well, good thing you were warning me, I tell you, man. If it wasn't for your warnings, well, we will. I'd have a lot of rage words by now with some of these levels. Jesus Christ. 
So now that the commander's introduced, let's throw them at the... Oh, what a jip. The commander's only dropped 10 bullets. That's a jip, Wooly. The fucking commandos who take a metric ton of things to stun what only drop 10 bullets? You're conning us, Wooly. You're conning us out of ammo. All three of these communities basically evaporated around 95 and came back around 98 when people figured out how to recompile the source. Yeah, and Doom kind of didn't. I guess Doom just stayed around and has grown to become the big thing. And Wolf 3D is like... Yeah, I could see why he would be a little angry at the envious of the Doom community. Doom has earned a reputation over time as being a great game over the long run. And Wolf 3D is like, yeah, this game was good once. It's more like the historical relic compared to... The game, the, the thing that runs and runs forever. Yes. Zenith was 998 to 2005, then it fizzled. Ah. Build communities didn't even have as much good stuff. I kind of thought the build engine stuff would be pretty sweet. I'm going to say, because fuck doing that start again. Dude's his night. Harold's Halloween House of Wax. <laughs> nice. Hmm, I'm very suspicious about this. But there's nothing to be suspicious of. Okay, so I seem to get I seem to get the idea of these types of weapons. If you're being bomb rushed by enemies, um you have to run away from the start point and immediately search for something to kill them with. Bit of trial and error is for pistol starters, though, I guess. Where spoilers will be coming over to. Oh, don't worry, World Misfit. Dragon Quest Heroes is way off being played. I mean, I may not even. I don't even even play that anywhere. I have to see. If I even play that at all on the live stream. It won't be played on this channel if I play anything like that. People on this channel do not care for Dynasty Warriors games. So kind of skill sort of map. Hey, Fermian Outcast. Well, sometimes, sometimes you kind of, I guess there is that kind of gameplay the pistol starts, Fermian. Sometimes though you have a build up, a gradual build up towards, um, Stuff like you start off with the enemies that can be dealt with with the pistol, you get a shotgun from something. I guess one there was a third one. No, there isn't. Oh, my. Is he attempting to do some kind of weird dodge there or something? Or is that just me? Yeah, boy, it's me. Trumpets are that type of gameplay. E2M6 takes into tons of level of cruelty if you pistol start it. Hey, will we? Hey, Bemuse, how's it going, man? Tonsman levels of cruel. That's quite a statement there, boy. Tonsman levels of cruel. Aye! Aye! Oh, God. I'm so glad not to play a Ribbix ward for a long while. Except when some people request... F no, wait, that wasn't you. Except when some people request Swim with the frigging Whales to be played. Oh, God. Time to save. I see a switch. Ah. Dang it. Oh, they can go for it. Oh yeah, and you requested Pepper. Pepper looks interesting though, I guess. At least it's short. I'll probably try and beat all the levels of Pepper without save scumming as well, since they're probably quite short. I would imagine. Okay. Oh, 
Where the hell did he come from? Super Surprise SS Guy. Requested Deus Vote 2. Did I accept that request? Did I really accept Deus Vote 2? Oh, yeah, I think I did. Thing with the whales will be played and hurt me plenty, and that will be final. I no longer play everything on Ultra Violence anymore. Because. Fuck that. I want my sanity. I want to keep my sanity sometime. Oh shit, was that a rear attack? Oh, for God's sake! Ugh. Where's... Oh, I gotta redo this again. Ugh. Fuck. Where's the other one? I know you're out there, second one. Yeah. Ah. My so it wasn't like a, a teleport ambush. It was just a third one. I somehow. How did I manage to not spot the third one previously? Then I do wonder. Oh, all right. How about a rocket launcher? Oh, I think I got him. I had a. Be careful when hanging a switch because the door opening the door makes enemies beyond that door being able to hear you. Scary. Ah! You're not careful now. All right, serious Kaku Demon. Thanks for tuning in. I shall see you around. The SMG can stunwalk commandos too. Don't waste all your HMG. I didn't know that. You can use the SMG to stunwalk them too. I'll be trying to use that then. In that case. Actual toilets. Huh. <laughs> Actual toilets. A first, <laughs> I think. Oh god, this is another trap, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. They did get stun -walked. So I guess it might be a good idea to think of those commandos as like faster, more deadly SS guys. Not like mini-bosses or something. Next there'll be mirrors. Oh, I massively over-assumed those commandos. And a secret toilet level. somewhere. I will go whatever, I don't like these. Oh, it's just not at night. Okay, where the bloody hell is this enemy? There was something in here that I heard. Around the corner or something? Oh. This is gonna get ugly. Jesus Christ! 
Oh god, this is just getting ridiculous now. Now we're just spamming commandos. Oh dear. This is where the world stops being fun anymore and just starts being frigging... Ah, rockets maybe might help, however. Where's the fourth one? Oh wait, did I get them all? Hmm. The rocket certainly helped there. Oh, fourth one is skill four. Okay. God damn. There's some horrible traps. Horrible, very obvious traps, but ugh. I see more secret stuff. How do I get to it? Well, not there, that's the answer. Let's think about running around with a rocket launcher indoors. Ah, finally got some decent ammo for this thing. Well, I don't know if I don't think you could run out of that one because they're going to be shooting you all the way. That was a bit more trickier. I'm not used to having to think like this in Wolfenstein. I think is the thing. Well, these would have opened too, but it must be a different trap or something. Hey, video gamer man, twelve. How are you doing? Pretty good. We are. Um, yeah, some kerfuffle of doors happening. Oh, shit. At least you can get away from those guys if they just sneak around corners. So, count small blessings, I suppose. Oh. Huh. Those rockets just have a bigger range than I thought. Oh, God. Ah! And nuked through the walls, yeah. Certainly did. Uh oh. That opened the floodgates for something. Oh, just one door, I guess. Fucking hell! Way more reaction time needed to dodge those fucking shots. Christ. And he just. Oh, I really hate those enemies. Really hate them. These enemies break the flow of fun in this wad. Starts becoming a case of... Ugh. Yeah, upset that they can spin up with... Ugh. Nah, I'm sorry, but that enemy right there is annoying. Give the secrets. Oh yeah. Secret stuff.
shame or elf too. Is there any elf around here? I mean, I think there was actually. Well, I ate, I ate all the health packs, put it that way. They all got eaten. They were eaten alive. And now, well, I'm afraid safe scumming is going to start being a thing. I think this game is dying to call for it a bit more. Oh, officer got smacked. Serves you right. Yeah, I sure heard the spin up there. Walk straight into his pan, dead. Spin up doesn't exist on those clowns, it seems. How'd I miss that? No spin up, and then. I know, might as well just be instant. Ugh. I shouldn't be using this weapon on him, but still. Oh! You mean my minigun takes Sal toward him, not theirs. Oh, I thought you meant their weapon. I was getting confused. You meant mine takes a sector world up. You're referring to my minigun, not theirs. Oh, right, okay. Holy shit, the minigun has a wind up animation. That's kind of sweet. Very satisfying to use, though. No complaints from me. Now what I opened. Um. Oh, is that a gold door over there? Oh, that certainly is. Is that some mapper? Is that... So I blew up half the enemy count. I was going to say, is that some mapper trail blazing there? Showing with where we're to go. The little trail. Hmm. <laughs> Chingers, eat your medicine. Back away. Oh man, you can't use the knife trick in this to bait enemies out of idle mode. I just help the fact that no enemies here, I suppose. What of high powered weapon we've been using? Oh, we have that engraved. That's kind of cool. Mm, I smell ambush. Oh, you can actually. Yeah, sorry, guys. I like how it has a cooldown as well, so it's kind of a... You can't use it in a... You have to point out your attack in advance type thing. Huh. You managed to make the minigun kind of interesting. Alright, let's get the... Uh, thing on my left. I might like to go back and get the ammo from the other room if I may. I forget what fucking room it was. Oh yeah, it was in here, wasn't it? So I think I'm gonna need it a bit more. Oh, that's not the real exit, huh? Oh, 
Ah. God. Well. Arm bush. Ah. Well, those commandos are jerks. Gastronomic hyper jump. <laughs> That's a organ music playing now. Oh wow. Don't wanna stop in there. Huh. Different picture of Hitler. Whoa! I even missed. The return of the quirky music. Oh shit. <coughs> what the? Down they go. Commando. Sausage. Eh, it was alright. My Doom Ward break is gonna be is over, by the way. Oh shit, there was a guy in there. Oh, Ward. Come on out. Okay. There we go. Alright, we killed... I think there's... Unfortunately, I know it was a second commando. Did I get two there? I don't know. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, you don't get to be... You don't get to play corner chain gunner. On my watch. Stupid commandos. I got you. Oh, that's what they're saying. Mine can't. Is it? Your tank has to be good to duck out the way in the nick of time. Oh well. Jeremy like that. 
I saw you. I saw you. You don't get to attack me. Uh -uh. No, you have to die. Hard. Now, go away. Oh, it's mine, God. And the work away is war sheet. Yeah, those commands are real. Uh, huh. One person begins to kill you at close range. Watch out before shooting the crap out of you. Yeah, my stream break is over, Steve, and I'll be playing. As soon as this is finished, I'll be playing White Moon 2. The other one that got two thingy requests. Oh god, not more sausages. Well, I heard one, but I don't see him. It's not like hiding and winging there, is he? Got you. Hits guys can be such as Yeah, but Doom has armor, distance drop off. Oh, I agree, chain gunners. No chain gunner can kill you that fast, though. That being said, that's usually more of a mastermind's job. And again, I had another one. Coming from? How many are there for that matter? Think of a commando. Thank you, Rifleman. Hey, Party Crash 04 and Bash 86. How are you both doing? A lot of people fear Britannia Chingo Trap, but I think the words Britannia Traps are usually rare than AV groups. I found Britannia to be a very weird thing of experience for me. Some of the, level, some of the levels in uh, Britannia were difficult, no doubt. But then some look kind of alright. I didn't struggle with some of the levels in Britannia for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, that will not be ending well for me.
fuck's sake. Is every time gonna be a fucking commando now? I guess so. And you. And you. Two in one closet now. Lovely. Charles was one of the best Rise of the Triads soon. This is a Rise of the Triads song again? I wasn't expecting a commando. I don't know what I was thinking. Dang it. Yeah, they are very jerks. <laughs> ah. I heard I saw your hitbox bump against mine. So spot, this is EC Wolf, version 1.3. 0.9 9 9 9 Crap, I need a key still. Yeah, you can still buy Wolfenstein on Steam. Ooh, what's this then? This is Flamethrower, I'm guessing. Nice. Let's test out the Flamethrower. Another projectile weapon. That's why I saved it, to test it out. Nice, we have all of the weapons. Pistol, Durand, SMG, Ding Gun, Modified Minigun, Wayne Thrower, and Rocket Launcher. So we send over new toys. Um, what am I missing here? Is there a door I've missed somewhere? I feel like I'm missing something. That opened some door somewhere, didn't it? Ah, there it is. That's convenient. Looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> Oh god. Horrible trap time. Oh yeah, for those who have just joined in, uh, the creator of this Wolf 3D ward, Wooey Woo, is in the chat right now if you want to ask him any questions about this. Well, we're done. Plenty of firepower for the big bad boss, at least. Alright, we dealt with that area. Now, what could that have done? Oh, I know. It opened this up, won't it? Oh, God. Is there going to be a boss in here or something? Hmm. Ah! Dang it! There you go. Cut that commando shit out. <laughs> oh man, I got as much ammo for my uh, heavy machine gun now. Does a Wolfenstein have expansions? 
Yeah, I've not heard great things about the expansions, Mission Pack 1 and 2 either. That's why I decided not to, that's why I only decided to play Spirit Destiny and then kind of leave it at that. Like forever. Oh, ho, ho, yes! All the beautiful rockets are mine! All 25 of them. Did I open this room up at all? No, 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 no. Put it away. Alright, let's save here. Interesting. And more flame ammo. We did try and get a bit more sneaky with the triggers, huh, Wooly? You didn't wait for it to be based on a key or a switch, you based it on a progression of a corridor. Very cunning. Alright, I think we're done here. So you can go and get some ammo. Ah, oh, crap, it was a fake. Oh. Boss? Oh. And we're done. It was Arsenal used to be on here, it was ours. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm starting to get used to the commandos now. Alright. Level... Nine. Boss type thing. Lovely. Oh god. Oh. No shit. This is going to be like every boss fight in Wolfenstein 3D. The hardest part is just getting to the boss. <laughs> Bill out once I find a nice little bottle. Evil map. Uh, I think I'm gonna be 
this saving a lot in general, Wooly. You seem to be... You seem to have pulled the harder Plutonian trigger some a few maps ago. So, yeah. Definitely safe scumming from here on out, I feel. There's gonna be a lot of carnage when this. It looks like this might be the main stage for the boss fight, though. Possibly. We'll have to see. Ugh. How irritating. There were no enemies in there. Alright. Go try and save the. If possible, anyway. Wainfoot's got a bit of ammo for it now, which is good. Let's just clear out these rooms first. So, I guess another question I could ask you is, similar to the Doom community, are there, like, people who like to make the newer style Wolfenstein 3, Wolfenstein 3D maps where there's no custom enemies or textures or anything? Are there people who like to, you know, stuff like that? One loud rifle shot. No. Sausage for you two. Vanilla Wolfenstein. <laughs> that sounds boring. So, uh, uh... Oh god, that looks like the Gary Key switch over there. More Huns! Sorry, boys, but this is where you get off. I'm going to hit the switch. Oh, and more enemies in here, though. Jerks round the corners. a secret somewhere. I know. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. And now we have the problem where they dominate all the gameplay deaths. All of them. As soon as those bloody commandos became a thing in this ward, this ward became, well, more difficult based on one enemy. At least we know to save like crazy. Then uh, let's not start getting into that territory. At least commandos don't sit on sniper platforms. Yeah, maybe I should use the enemy machine gun. Or better still. Oh, you can blow yourself up with a rocket launcher. What do you know? That's a thing. I guess. Did I do that after opening this corridor? Yes, I did. Maybe the rocket launcher would be good out of here since there's now a corridor and I might blow several up at once. Ah, missed. Oh, come on! Stop dodging! Gotcha. Alright, is that the end of the horde of cheap jerks? this wall and find out. No, not yet. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, we're getting stuck on weird wanky places. I go! Okay, is that the end of them? Yeah, let's just say that it's the end of them for now. You blow them up. Okay. So, we pressed those switches, and what was... Ah, this was the outcome. We got access to the flame floor again. We already have. Oh, the silver key became accessible. Oh, good. This is going to trigger the next wave. No, it doesn't. There's nothing. 12 on skill 4. That's the thing about Wolf 3D, I suppose, which you might be very lucky, Wooly, that you're not getting the critique from. I don't know what would be considered balanced in enemy design in this game compared to do. I think the commandos are annoying, but as you said, if you can stun lock them, it's just a case of catching them out, I guess. But I definitely feel they have adjusted the difficulty. Alright, where's the silver key door? Oh, it's here. Oh no, not again! At least three. Down you go. Down you go also. This one I saw. 
guy stuffing around. Oh, I guess not. Easy once you went to dodge their missiles. Not going to end well, is it? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, what the hell are these? Waste the freaking health kit there, we can't do that. Is there like something hang on, let me just anticipate the situation. I'm gonna have to go past them if I'm super quick. The kind of did it. Kind of. Naturally, you just use them all the time from this point on, thus making them a threat that gets boring. This tends to be something I find happens a lot with custom enemies. Once they're flung in like this, they just get used everywhere. And so they fade from being... Yes, you can't mow them down, but then you just get stuck using them all the time because you... Well, I guess the player has eight weapons at this point, but still. I can fight Revs for me, and my deal with my beef with Revenants is that they get used for everything. They're meant to swat into the regular enemy roster. I, I don't feel that they. I don't know, just me. It doesn't quite feel they should be used this regularly. Or I could just be me. Okay, now that we've done all that, we have all our max ammo for everything? Yes, we do. Right, we're ready for a boss fight. Oh, I'm ready for the 80,000 minions Venom boss behind them all. Whoa. Oh, it is just a one-on-one -on -one boss fight with Gran with Gross? Just hands. This is gross. Oof. Let's use the flame for it.
Let's see that again! Oh, nice! A Yay! The wall got killed! <laughs> and the wall died! <laughs> oh, he turned into a wall! I guess you have a point, Willie. It is a boss level. It cut off your winner. <coughs> Shameful display. Must fix. Well, just for that error, I'm giving this a 1 out of 10. Yeah, I suppose I didn't consider that, actually, Willie, that this was the final level of the game. So, yeah. Okay. I am sometimes not the most rational thinker. Sometimes. Alright, so, we did it. After all of that, Wolfenstein 3D still has the cliche of having the boss fight be easy and the boss runs be more difficult. I don't know if you I don't know if you could program an interesting boss for Wolfenstein 3D. I mean, yeah, you gave him a mini gun, but you also did kind of you just killed him like every other boss. But hey, I don't get how you would rate a rod on a one to ten scale. It seems to me like it's either enjoyable or trash. Yeah, I don't rate wads anymore. I used to have a silly system based on the It Games thing that was in, but I, I dropped that a few years back. So I just rate them on how I found them fun or not. Congratulations! Oh, congratulations! Do a bit bad spelling. You have defeat evil Nazi super soldier of Third Reich known as Hans Gross, and you get war plan to bring back to America to warn allies. DJ Brakovich is best hero, known through the world as Saviour of Allies. You succeed it. Your skill is enough. See you next time. Bye bye. Congratulations for beating Castle Hasselhoff, the first Coffee Break episode. Stay tuned for more episodes in the future. More death traps, more mayhem, more Nazis, more English Ex Executor. 11 of 16, 2014. The ending is a parody at the beginning of Legend of Zelda. Oh, okay. Fair enough. There we go. A new save name. Hooray! Yep, I did it go in. Alright, so that was the first episode of Coffee Break, which was short and difficult, eventually. But at least the levels were small, to be fair. Can't complain about that too much. No, I didn't mean for that to pop up. Whatever. So, what do you all think of that? Um, mod. All 22 of you. Thanks to Chris94SB, Cruel Fay, Ward Sergeant, Miskarin, the obvious bark. I wonder if you were here for the secret level, obvious bark. You missed an opportunity for your name to be hilarious for a moment. Oh my god, one, shell bibbity. Slow cool. Some people like things slow, I guess, when they're cool. And walkie HD. Because stand definition walkies are not enough for this world. Oh god. Wonderful. This is really wonderful. I've now inspired Steve D to make more friggin' hitscan maps. Thanks, Wooly. Now I'll never get another Steve D caco swarm again. They'll just be fucking SS soldiers and commando swaps. I swear to God, Steve D, if I see a map of yours in any ward and it's got commandos in it, I will throw a fit. Make a world with flying chain gunners. <laughs> right, that's it. This playthrough is over. I am not playing episode two. I am going to quit. You have been spying way too much. Bad ideas in the Doom community. It's just not on. Not on. <laughs> Looks really cool so far. You like the turquoise. 
that Evan Wolfenstein. Well, I have to say that this was pretty neat. I really liked how the weapons changed up the gameplay. I liked how there were triggers and traps in this one. It kind of felt more Doom-like at times, even with the predictability of traps. Some interesting stuff, really, to see in Wolf 3D. I mean, in Wolfenstein 3D. And I really like that rifle, for some reason. I'd love to see that in Doom as a replacement for the pistol. <laughs> but yeah, pretty good stuff overall. Some nice levels, they were quite short, difficult but short at least. And some humor thrown in as well. And I love the secret level. That was an awesome secret level. One of the funniest I've seen for a while. For sure. Good stuff there. <clears throat> But yeah, thanks for being around where we will to uh, help out as well with the map assistance, which I will probably definitely need. And uh, yeah, so I will try to do the next part sometime soon. I can't say for certain when that will be, but it will probably be on... It could be next... I don't, I don't know when it will be, to be honest. It could be tomorrow night, could be next weekend. It depends on when I'm free. Stuff. You like the mama dog too. Oh yeah, and the giant dog boss is pretty sweet. So yeah, thanks to everybody for showing up. Thanks for Roy Wolf for making this and for being around to help assist with questions on this. And it was nice to get an insight to the Wolfenstein 3D modding community and history for that matter. I hope for some more lessons next time. So hopefully this will export to YouTube and not take three hours. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Have a good evening. Commander Keen says, don't eat knives. Eat forks instead. <laughs>